so for, for, for infants who are transplanted, you know, as I said, they're born with an illness and then it becomes sort of a second nature to them. And we often see them as they grow and they forget that they're a transplant recipient. You know, we say, do you know why you're here? You had a transplant. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Because they just feel so well and they feel so normal and they're equal to their peers. They're participating in sports. They're at the same academic level as their peers. So for them, it's something that they don't even recall. You know, you ask the parent, the parent remembers the distress and the, and the trauma and the fear and the hopelessness. But for the kids, what's wonderful for us to see is they're back in school, they're doing well. And when they've been transplanted at a younger age, it doesn't, they don't recall, they don't remember. So if you go into our waiting room and you look at all the children there, you couldn't tell who had a transplant who didn't, which is sort of amazing. And that's the goal, that's a successful transplant. They're restored to normal life, normal quality of life, and no different than their peers. The challenge does present itself when they become teenagers and they realize, wait, I am a little different, I take medication. Or when they go away to college and they want to try to experiment with drinking and they may oversleep or stay out at you know, a friend's place and they don't take their medication. So that presents itself as a challenge, but it's something we work with with them. You know, I've told them, a few of my teenagers, I will take a road trip up to your college. Come check on you, you know, make sure you're taking those meds. So we also have programs where they'll, they'll receive a text to their phone reminding them to take their medication or little tricks that we use to help remind them. Um, a lot of the teenagers communicate with us through email, so you know, the emails are going right to your handheld devices now, and so we can send them an email, you know, are you taking your meds, how's it going? We're not partying too much up there. So technology has helped, especially with kids being so receptive to technology. Oh, like an electronic support network. Exactly, exactly. That's and we can hook them up with each other that way too. They have a special Facebook page or something? There is a Facebook page for the center. There's nothing specific right now for teenagers, but one of our social workers is working on an online support group for them. That's great. That's great. Yeah. Right. Um, is there anything else you'd like to say? I think in a, in a situation like this where we see a party, it's so nice for us, especially this time of year, to receive holiday cards and see how healthy the children are. Because you know, we remember and are part of these patients' lives, part of their families' lives, when they were at their most ill. And where parents don't often see the future. You know, we know that one day they might be walking into this party and look no different than anyone else.